Once you have their attention, what I personally say, and I know this is cliche, everyone's expecting some amazing line, but it's really not a line. I want to make my intention clear from the beginning. So I, excuse me, excuse me. I just want to say you are absolutely beautiful. Excuse me, man. I don't know if someone I like better the band or you in this all black. Like, I'm really trying to decide. <laughs> I will look you directly in the eyes when I tell you you're beautiful. I'm not, no, I'm not a punk. I'm not afraid of nobody. I make my intention clear. The reason I say that is because 99% of the time, unless the girl's a f as a person, the only thing she can really say is thank you. I think you look absolutely stunning thank in this dress. You. I just want to come and tell you that. I'm sure you hear it all the time. I know you probably get that a lot, though. And I was wondering if I could have your Instagram. It's cool if I get your Instagram now. The reason I ask for an Instagram is because it's a far less personal than a phone number. If you ask for a phone number, very few people have her phone number. Mm. But every random mother already follows her on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So why would she say no? So she gives it to you. And this is human psychology. She's already said thank you. It's already positive. Now she's giving you her Insta, which everyone else has. <laughs> and after she gives me her Insta, this is the true test. Mm. Okay. I say, what's your name? What's your name? Let's say she says, Jay. Jay, I'll say it's nice to meet you, Dre. Jay, I'll shake her hand. And I'll wait two seconds. If she says, what's your name? She's on it. If she wants to know my name back, it's done. Game over. 100% in the bag. Yeah, oh, my, my name's Charles. I didn't, I didn't hear you ask for it. Tate for it's like a kickboxing world champion, internet sensation, the most Google man on the planet. Doesn't really need much of an introduction right there. He's been a great influence on my life. He's teaching me how to navigate life, living a life towards pain rather than to a life towards pleasure. I think that life is suffering and pain, and you're here to go through it, and you're and that sooner you get used to the taste the more successful you're gonna be. I have no interest in trying to change the flavor, my friend. The flavor of life is pain <laughs> and I will eat all of it. And it doesn't matter if they put me back in jail or not. I, I'm not sitting there going, how can I be happy in jail? I will sit in jail and say, yes, this sucks. It's supposed to suck. Yes, I'm not enjoying this. Yes, I'm anxious and paranoid. And yes, that guy might stab me. And yes, I can't sleep and I miss my family. And this is what's supposed to happen to me. And this is how I become the best man I can possibly be. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. succeed regardless. <laughs> So I think this is a, a good way to kind of knit together my content and his content. Come on now, uh -huh. talk to me nice. We're gonna do a day in the life, Andrew Tate, and we're gonna do Andrew Tate pickup lines. What's, what's your routine like? Well, let's say I wake up around nine-ish, okay. but I go to bed usually around three, four. Uh, first thing I do is drink two liters of water. This right here is a liter and a half. So this is, I gotta drink this whole thing in like, a, a, all right, don't be stupid now, Sam. How much is a half a liter for this? That's a third. Dog, that's crazy. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> we got half a liter left. I did it. Oh my God, I'm such a real nigga. Every single morning is one of the first things I do. Uh, I wake up and I train. And what's amazing is I never feel like doing it. Bro. I never wait. I never want to do it. I wake up and I have work to do. My phone's going off. I got a busy day. No, no, no. I'm going to train. train. And I don't want to, but I still do it because that's the part of being Bro. a man. It's doing what you don't want to do. All right, so you have to do a lot of body weight stuff, a lot of low weights but high reps, you know what I'm saying? Oh, to make no, sure it's for real. No, I mean, it's us good. But your heavyweights are stupid. It's a complete waste of time. Tate uses lighter weights but does more reps to increase the endurance when he's boxing. Let's take you through the Sam season calisthenic workout. <laughs> So this part was unique to me. Cause like I said in the previous video, I do low weights but high reps and tall slips heavy. Which then brought us to the question of this. I can use 250 push-ups, but we put double your weight on the on the bench press. I could probably do it. Thank you. I got you. Three. Oh, that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I 
I'll just say, do what's best for your body. Whenever I try to lift heavy, I always end up injuring myself. So I just never tried it. All right, so we just finished working out. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go holler at some girls, but I can't holler at them in this. I obviously gotta get clean and suited and booted. I don't own a suit. You own a suit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why'd you lie? Oh. <laughs> I always gotta eat good, I'm a food enthusiast. This is not an act, baby, I really do this. Never told a high point, it's so reliable. I love me a Glock 19 that's gonna fall on you. Oh, oh, got all some slight, up. you know, some slight, okay, some slight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You shades? Right. They cool, I like the side. Yeah. Oh, what you dripped out today? You... I'm Andrew Tate for the day. Who is that? <laughs> Why she put Why she put it? Andrew! I just wanna say, you're absolutely beautiful. I have to come over and tell you, you know, you look absolutely beautiful. I think you're absolutely beautiful. You know that? I couldn't just let you walk past my favorite color like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mind if I flirt with your friend real quick? Oh, I don't know. How you doing? My name's Charles. I'm Z. Z, nice to meet you. I just have to tell you, you look real beautiful, you know? Oh, thank you. you know? What's your name? Tatiana. What's your name? <laughs> What'd you say your name was again? Okay, well, my name is Prince Charming. <laughs> I don't know which one I like better, the band or you in this all black. Like, I'm really trying to decide. <laughs> Still time, I was just wondering, can I get your Instagram or something like that? Or? I have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend? Man, all the good ones get taken, man. man. Nah. I'm not a recruiter. I mean, I'm trying to recruit you, but you know. <laughs> Dude, you can't just walk past me twice looking that good. Like, the first time I was like, dang, I let him go away. <laughs> I think I'm interested in taking you into the off season is, you know, it's gonna get cold, so you know, I need a, a snug and buddy day to party, you know what I'm saying? But every I just thought she was cute, so I was just kinda, you know, shooting my side or whatever. Like when you had the shades on, then you could talk to Bel Air Academy like this, you know what I'm saying? How you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Kennedy. Kennedy, I see you you're a woman of culture. I fit. I like this. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago? What you doing down here? Nice, nice okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, check me out. We on Ridge GPT. Watch this chat. I think you were lacking vitamin me. <laughs> Baby, if you were words on a page, you'd be fine print. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I'm screaming to hell and back. Cause what was what? that? What? That was clean. Okay, I've had a rough morning. So I can tell. You just letting it off on everybody. My dog passed away. Damn. Shit. Uh, Damn. Combination. But I really just came over because I thought she was absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to yeah. let you know that. I usually look real beautiful today, you know what I'm saying? What's your name? Samaya. Samaya. Oh, okay, cool. Nice to meet you. Nice I think you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. you know, I know you probably get that a lot. And I was just wondering, you know, can I get your Instagram or something like that? Yeah. I'll be seeing you on Instagram. You're funny. Damn. Way you came into <laughs> like, no, for real. Yeah. Appreciate it. What's your name? My name's Charles. Nice to meet you, Charles. I just found you back. No class today? No, I have one more class. What you doing after that? You know, if you trying to get some ice cream or something? Mm -hmm. Alright, bet. Well, I'll hit you up and then we'll set that up. You know what I'm saying? Alright, it was nice meeting y'all. It's cool if I get you get your Instagram. I'm really on Instagram because it's cool. But you can get my number if you want to. You ain't said nothing but a word. I just knew I was gonna find a diamond tonight. That's just Right, say what's up to the folks. Hello. What's your name was again though? Diamond. I knew I was gonna find a diamond tonight. <laughs> you like you like ice cream. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna take you over get some ice cream. Ice cream is there. I like chocolate too. <laughs> How you doing? I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, I told her I said put on that dress. I was like. I don't wear. I, I think it was this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. I don't know. You got great taste. Huh? Yeah, you look nice though. Thank you. <laughs> you look nice. Look at you. Yeah, I'm Andrew Tate for the day. You know who that is? No. Come on now. You know now? No. I still got the tag. tag I can't rip it off, but. <laughs> <laughs> I got you a gift. Andrew. Yeah, you know, because I kept pushing back the time. I felt like that was. Yeah. I kept... he did. He so did here you go. Oh, I love roses. You love roses? Okay. Those are your favorite flowers? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said we got her back for some ice cream. Yeah, and it's chocolate. Okay. Yes, get it out now. It's so good. I know. <laughs> I see. I gotta 
get that. Yeah, you do. I dare you. I made a middle of GTA, now I live like Michael. My niggas only want to shoot, they don't want to fight you. You gotta want to toast it a little bit. Toasting means you just warming that tobacco up. You want to pull it while you lighting it. Cool. Is it toasting? <laughs> Pull the cigar in, taste it, and blow it out. You're not gonna inhale like a cigarette. Or, yeah, you get retro mm -hmm. hair there now. Play it. <laughs> you know, I think the world would be a better place if everybody just had their body counts on their forehead. Just think about it. All the wives would get back with their husbands, families would get back together, girls would get back with their boyfriends. It would be a great world. I'm so clean. I know them old mad, they ain't believe in me. If she pop out, they hope they wanna be with me. I'm rolled dog in my she gon' text me, she late. If you owe me some money, it's cool, just don't be late. Going for a money jog in my big thirties. I think that any emotion you feel should be converted into positive influence. Yeah. yeah, you should do good things with any emotion you feel. I I can't and what else are you gonna do with it? Quite and this yeah. is a genuine question. Yeah. What else? If, if let's say your your wife breaks your heart, if you're not gonna work, you can't sleep anymore. Mm. You're upset. She's running around with a new dude. You see her Instagram story. She got some new guy. You're furious and you're you're angry and you're jealous and you're bitter. You have all of this inside of you, but you're not gonna go to the gym and work hard and become so fantastically in shape and so rich and so powerful that no girl ever leaves you again. You're not gonna do that. No. What are you gonna do with it? Text her. <laughs> try and explain to her she doesn't care like you, doesn't, you can no. write the most perfect english you can write the most beautiful words ever constructed forget shakespeare Convincing, you can do you it doesn't matter she doesn't care mm. she just doesn't she's care she's distracted she, she forgot about you she forgot about you so what are you going to do with all of that inside of you if it's not positive well it's going to consume you and you're going to end up self-destructive or you're going to embarrass yourself or you can take all of that and put yourself in a position where it never happens to you again